to speak. Now you're not on, on the list. I signed up there. This is one item I'm sure to speak again on us for Tuesday. Gus Pena, native East Austin Night, my schools, Zavala Elementary, Allen Junior High, when was a junior high, and I'm a proud graduate of Albert Sidney Johnson High School, the pride of the East Side. I can tell you about uh, growing up poor. I can tell you about discrimination, but not being allowed to vote. My dad was born in 1898, crossed Mexico to uh, <coughs> Crystal City, was elected sheriff. He started, Lucio Peña started the Mexican American politics in Crystal City, the birthplace of Mexican American politics. Here we are talking about the cost of moving the elections to November versus May. And I'm going to say this, and it is pertinent, and it's relevant to this. What about the cost of people and agencies that are not funded for basic needs, hunger, homelessness, health care? How much more money because some of y'all didn't vote to increase the funding for social service agencies? We're talking about one million and some versus maybe 20 million in basic needs issues that were not funded. Let me tell you about elections. I ran in 1996 and 97 for city council. The Honorable Councilmember Spellman was one of my, and I love to tell the stories. Billy, just a good guy. Um, he was one of my opponents. I respect you, sir. I will tell you this much cost. Suppression, voter suppression, voter oppression. If the voters don't like you, they're not going to vote for you, they're not going to show up. But let me tell you something apart from that. Let's let the, and I know the voters are going to be allowed the opportunity to vote on this issue. My issues are these, and I again, I don't represent anybody in this that we have meetings. I'm not like people poll, uh, polls, whatever. The people have told me, leave it in May. Let the voters vote on this issue. It is our constitutional right. Mayor, council members, I am a former discrimination issue complaints investigator of the Department of Treasury and Justice. I will not put up with anybody discriminating against or suppressing or oppressing people from voting and give the due diligence and opportunity to vote. You're getting angry all attacking each other versus whether they're going to vote turn going to be high May or November. Let the voters decide that. Mary Arnold, my, my hero, she said it appropriately, and I'm not, I'm not going to be redundant for what her comments were, but, you know, I'm just going to say this, but a lot of people give up. I don't. I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran, so in Vietnam, I can tell you, I don't give up. My first Apparently, we were elected by us in 1967 because they didn't allow us to speak Spanish at Johnson in my English class. I'm not going to mention my English teacher. Don't do this. Due diligence. Keep it in mind. Thank you very much.